Hi guys, we wanted to address something really important with you. We're wanting to respond to the death of George Floyd and what it represents of our society and its impact on the people in our church community and our wider community who may live in fear because of cases like this. Uh, we realise that so many of you are looking to us to speak hope, to speak honour and to lead us into prayer. Um, for me, over the last few days, I've been reading Isaiah 58 and just uh, genuinely lamenting before the Lord about the many injustices that are happening all around us. You see, the death of George Floyd is so shocking. It's so evil. It's so troubling. It comes at the climactic point of a series of killings in earlier weeks. And so these combined narratives have sparked this public outcry, both on the streets of America, but throughout the world. Uh, sociologists call it a condensed symbol. A condensed symbol is like this idea or this parable with, or this narrative that could sum up a worldview in one image. Uh, here's the image that haunts us. It's of a white man forcing a black man down while the black man is pleading for his own life and slowly dying. It's a tragedy. Um, I've been reading some of Desmond Tutu's words on oppression. And he says, if you are neutral in areas of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. As a white man born in South Africa, raised in London, these words are haunting and these images are haunting me. We want to say to all the people of colour in our community and everyone affected deeply by this issue, we want you to know how loved you are, how important you are, we want to say your voice matters and we want to hear it. Uh, we want to grow and learn and I want to apologise if we've been slow to respond. You see, when one part of the body is hurt, we all hurt. We don't just want to respond with a statement and move on. But we want to involve us all in making a difference, learning and finding out more. We firstly want to respond in prayer and bring our lament and our cries and intercessions before God. Isaiah 58 verse 9 says this, God says, you will call out to me and I will help. I will answer you. You will cry out and I will say, here I am. And so today we want to speak out against all injustice as we mentioned on Sunday. And so we want to spend uh, 48 hours on Friday from Friday in non-stop prayer and lament for justice in our world and in our nation and in our city. We want to look again to Jesus who, in whom holds, he holds all things together. But may repentance lead to renewal and revival. Today, will you join me at 12 to take a moment to pray, reflect, maybe repent and be renewed again? We're going to be making some more announcements in the next couple of days about how you can get to play your part in the 48 hours of prayer. But let me just say this, systemic racism and privilege affects us all. Because it's systemic, we might have to confront, we will have to confront our complicity, just as Desmond Tutu describes. In the meantime, please do not hesitate in contacting Viv and I. If you want to talk, we want to listen. If you want to pray, we want to pray with you. Uh, please don't hesitate in contacting us. God bless and speak soon.